Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to the Flash Recap Show here on the Collider Video Recap Network. My name is John Campia. I am one of your hosts tonight for this, our recap of The Flash, season two, episode six, Enter the Mother Ethan Zoom. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that was the official title of today's show. Hey, welcome to the show, guys. We're going to talk about tonight's episode of Zoom. Look, it should go without saying, bit of a spoiler warning. If you've not seen tonight's episode of The Flash, just put this video on your favorites list and come back to it a little bit later because you're going to have everything spoiled for you. <laughs> Joining me tonight to talk about this episode of The Flash, sitting over here on my left. David Griffin. Zoom has entered the building, and I hope that we see plenty, plenty more of him. He's fantastic. And over here on my right. Hey, guys. John Roca. Apparently, there's no rules against kissing uh, at work. Apparently, that's cool for Patty in the Flash. Only no for cops. Right. Only and for cops. And, of course, over there on the end of the table. <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Corey Takei. And, David, I do think we're going to see Zoom again. Just a hunch. <laughs> <laughs> Just a hunch. Now, here's how this show works, folks. We are going to talk about the things we loved about tonight's episode of The Flash. We're going to talk about some of the things we thought maybe could have been better. We're going to do a little bit of speculating what's coming up in the future. And then we are going to take your Twitter questions. We put out a tweet asking for you guys to send in your questions for the show tonight. How do you get a question to us? You send out a tweet and you just include the hashtag Collider Flash. We picked out a couple questions. We'll get to those a little bit later. But first, let's start with the things we liked about tonight's episode. Mr. John Roca, oh. let's start with you. Okay. That's I can't imagine any of the points you may bring up, but <laughs> what, what are some things you might have liked about tonight's episode? Uh, I would definitely say the entire second half of this episode was fantastic because I was losing so much faith during the first half, but then all of a sudden, Zoom showed up and not to not to use a terrible pun, this thing took off at light speed. It was amazing. All this, all of a sudden, there was this drama and darkness. There's all this stuff. Like the fact that he went to every place and of uh, people that knew Barry and showed this, you know, husk of a man after he's kicked his butt was just amazing. It was so powerful, and it was such a turn. And so. Just the way they did all of that, I'm such a big fan of that, and that's really what I would say is the best part of the show, that whole thing, because I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I can say. Yeah. It was just fantastic. Uh, Kiori, what about you? Yeah, I mean, going with you, the, the whole Zoom sequence, Barry, I was actually worried about him. I thought he might actually die, and there was going to be a way that they would have to revive him. Yeah. It, Zoom is such a powerful villain, and it is so exciting, and he pretty much took over the whole entire episode in just the last five minutes. Yeah. I think he was the best part of the whole season. David Griffin. Zoom's awesome. I actually really enjoyed the Barry and uh, Dr. Light fight. <laughs> Linda fight. It was Linda. I thought you were going to say Patty. Pat, no, it, 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 oh, yeah, Pat, yeah, that, that was all right. You know, but, I mean, so it was so cool because they're using all that cheesy dialogue. Yeah. John, in the middle of that part, you were saying, like, I should hate this, but I love Lord, it. Lord, I'm loving it. Because it's yeah. awesome. It's just like, I'm here to get you, Flash. I'm it's here like, to kill the Flash. Yeah, you know? Nothing's going to stop me. It was a very, oh like, God, you know, man. old school comic book, you know, that's just, yeah. a, just so on the nose, but just so classic at the same time. I thought that was a great scene. Yeah. Yeah, no, I got to tell you, I loved that scene and I'm watching it and I said exactly what you said. I remember thinking man this this is so bad in so many ways but because I know this show and I know these characters I am loving it. I thought it was fun and light and charming and I really bought it and normally that's the type of scene that just turns me off mm -hmm. but the way they handled it mm -hmm. I thought was so perfect. It doesn't hurt that I think like the girl who's playing Linda is the cutest yeah. girl they've had on that like show ever. I mean she's just a delight to look at. I mean she's mm -hmm. great and she's been great in the show especially playing the two separate characters. I also like the fact that by the end of the show episode everybody seemed to forget Dr. Light is still yeah, out there. Yeah. She too. got away. Yeah. And that is something that has flown over, I think, a lot of people's radars. So I kind of like the way they introduced that as well. But, and I like, I still like, I mean, the way Joe is, he's so consistent through this show. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's great. So for the ways he was trying to be cautious and all that kind of stuff, but not being overbearing about it, yeah. I really dug it. And I really like the scenes between him and Patty when he's like, look, just a couple more days. I bought it. Like, I bought into that. Yeah. But of course, this episode, look, we heard a little bit, we heard in advance, we heard a little birdie told us that the last 10 minutes of this tonight's episode was going to be maybe the best 10 minutes mm -hmm. ever in the wow. entire series. So as we were getting closer to the end of the show, I remember, well, we were told that, but what's going on? I was going to say boom, maybe I should say zoom. All of a sudden, out comes zoom with that demonic Tony Todd voice. Yeah. And the way they choreographed it and orchestrated that whole scene Flash is no match 
for Zoom. It's not, it, it's, it's a fully grown adult taking on a toddler. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just that one-sided. There was nothing to it. And all of a sudden you felt real dread yeah. and real fear mm -hmm. and things could get really, really bad. And as that, uh, you're right, the way he dra dragged him to the newspaper, God. dragged him to the police station, threw him around town, took him back to Star Labs, was about to kill him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, uh, Cisco saves the day. Uh, I'm, I'm glad it was Cisco. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I like the whole Cisco vibing on Wells and yeah. seeing what's going mm -hmm. on with his daughter. I, I think this clears that up of that Wells is not here in ulterior most. He wants Zoom. He wants to stop Zoom. And he's just a di giant dick. Yeah. But he's on the good guy side, even though he's a giant dick. I love that. And then just when you think, when all that's done, that's like, whoo, oh, man, that, that was great. Then we see the preview for next week's episode and freaking Grodd is back. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this is just so good. I'm like, I'm, I'm like shaking. I'm so excited for next week's episode yeah. now. Um, I just hope now that we've got a taste of Zoom that it doesn't become, now we don't see him for four more episodes. Mm -hmm, you know, yeah. one of those, because I've seen some shows do stuff like that. And I'm, so I'm thrilled Grodd's going to be here next yeah. week. But I hope that doesn't like take us completely away from zoom like I, I want to get back on that story and know what's going on there so oh my goodness i <laughs> like even though i was loving all the stuff with joe the stuff with the vibe yeah. the stuff with you know the, the hammy cheesy oh no you got me I, it, it wasn't the strongest episode uh, until we got to that part and and that it really i gotta say who mm -hmm. the person who told us was right it was the best 10 minutes we've ever had in this series yeah. It was so much fun to watch, and it just I'm I'm just energized like crazy. But let's not everything is great, not everything is perfect. So let's talk a, few, a little bit about maybe some of the things that we thought didn't work about the episode tonight. David, let's start with you. What didn't quite work as well as it could have? They keep saying that that's with the Wells. How can you trust that face, the man who killed huh. your mother? They keep saying that line, and it's yeah. not Wells. I mean, I get it is his face, but Wells. Wells and any Earth, as far as you know, had nothing to do with Barry's mom's death. Right. It was Eobard Thon. Yep. Inside of who Wells. Killed who, Dr. Wells who killed Dr. Wells years before right. who, and was now just wearing his face. Wearing his face. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they keep saying that over and over again. As soon as that happened, I think all of us were just like, well, stop saying that. They keep saying that. It's like, that's not the first who Wells did murdered it. my mother. No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> you know, I was going to say that some of the campiness that we're talking about, I know, uh, Roke, I don't want to see what you're going to say, talking about how kind of, you know, it was a little Smallville. Like, yeah, you know, a little, a little yeah. very CW yeah. kind of just somewhat like the banter between Patty Spivett and Barry. But I think the tone was so light because they were saving it for that. You know, they were mm -hmm. trying to lull us a little bit to sleep, a little bit, just kind of bring us down. And then at the end, they just give us that huge finale uh -huh. that was incredible. I think that's why they were doing it. So I was going to say that as a weakness, but I changed my mind. I'm not going to use that as a weakness anymore. I think that was actually a strength of the episode. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, for yeah. me, um, once again, a weakness is Patty. I'm with mm. you. Which, which oddly enough, though, Patty in and of herself, as Joe's partner, mm. as whatever, I, I don't mind the character, actually. But I just, other than last, and look, credit where credit is due, last week's episode, The Date, was yeah. a wonderful scene, a collection of scenes, really. It was, it was spread over about 15 minutes of screen time. Yeah. And it was really nice and charming. It was the first time that I enjoyed seeing Barry and Patty interacting together. It was charming, it was great, but it was short-lived, it's gone. Because then they're back on screen again this episode, and again, I just do not feel the chemistry. It's not working for me. Even though, oddly enough, the character herself, I do believe has a function and role in the show, and I'm kind of liking her in her role as Joe's partner, mm. but it's becoming so inseparable with her romance with Barry that even that's at risk, yeah. I think, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, going back to you again, mm. I was going to say the same thing. They keep referring to Wells as the guy who killed my mother. No, 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 it's mm. it's not. It's Case in point, it was not. Harrison Wells of Earth One was never a murderer. He right. himself was murdered 10 years ago or right. however long that was. So that was something that kind of stuck me a little bit. Anyway, what about you, Rooka? What are some things that maybe yeah, didn't work for Yeah, I mean, you? definitely the Patty stuff, absolutely. It was so weird because I'm such a fan of her. I'm such, I'm, I push, I think maybe anybody else, maybe more than anyone else on this panel, like I love her to death and want her to succeed on the show. Uh, and I think she's absolutely very attractive. But oh, I Oh, she's think, very cute. Yeah, oh yeah, my that's, goodness, that's, that's, that's my That's my type. She's right very there. dead, too, a, by well, the way. No, <laughs> she's not. Oh, she's Stop dead. Saying oh, she's Stop dead. Oh, I give her four Rooka, there's two of them, though. There's two of them. There's two lights out there. That's not I give her four right, yeah. episodes. Yeah. 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 Peace yeah. Yeah. That's the one. But, 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 <laughs> but I, I, I have a, I had an issue with. I still have an issue with the beginning because mm -hmm. 
it, I understand the setup, but there's a way to make that setup that still works for the vibe of the show, so to speak. But I, I just felt like it was a little too cheesy. Mm -hmm. And that whole thing yeah. where she's talking to two, two random people at the job about baby faces and then moves oh, into that. So I was forced. like, what, what is yeah. the need for that? So there's no need for that unless that's the producer's daughters and you want to give them a line or a, a shot in the show. Well, it like just producers doesn't make girlfriends. any sense. It's, or it's girlfriend. girlfriend. Oh, they're kind of young. I don't know. I hope they're not. <laughs> we like, really didn't need that. But but it was an, it was a little weird to see some of that they stuff. Cops, Roka. They were cops. That's right. They That's were what cops. They do. I apologize. They, they, they look at pictures yeah, of babies baby going pictures. into tunnels. I mean, That's what, the, the last what thing we ladies do. We look at babies on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. all well, day. And that was another thing that I think was a little bit of a negative. Speaking of ladies, is that Patty would be like, "Are you mad at me? Are you afraid? Of, are you or like instead of being like, I'm a detective. I am equal with you. She was like, "Did I do something to make you mad?" And I was like, "No, don't do that to her because." She's she's actually really good with her character. She like you were saying, John. She handles her stuff. She's on top of it as a character, as a cop. She's good. But when she slides into some of the Barry stuff, it doesn't quite. I kind of understood though the the stuff with Joe because he is her superior. He is her boss. And there's, so there's still a little bit, and, and she admired him so much. So there, I could yeah. probably get that. And remember, too, in that scene, she wasn't just, she was trying to coax information out of him. Right, she was trying to trick him, she I guess. She was trying yeah. to That's coax a good point. it out of him. Okay. Hey, I just shared something with you, now you shared something <laughs> with me. It's like, so I, I, for me personally, actually, that one didn't stand out to okay. me as being a bad one. For That's me fair. personally. What about you, Kara? I'm trying not to harp too much on the Patty thing, so I'm going to go really quick with the Patty situation. But... Okay, first of all, the Barry and Patty thing didn't work very well for me in this episode when they started making out on the wall. I was like, we got to stop this. But also, <laughs> when she was talking to Joe about we're partners, we need to be transparent, I thought, you guys haven't built that relationship yet. Mm -hmm. It's a little too fast for me, so I understand why he's trying to protect you or be a little more standoffish. But the other mm -hmm. thing that kind of frustrated me was Iris supporting putting her friend oh, yeah. in danger. That's right. It felt a little out of Iris's, you know, she's smart and intelligent. She usually makes more cognitive decisions and this was it just didn't work well for me. Well, let her decide. So like, like, the least that's a great idea, Barry. <laughs> yeah. right? Like that's a great the idea. The least yeah. experienced person yeah. with this kind of stuff. Let them decide if they want to put their life at risk. You're totally right. You know, yeah. as charming as that scene was, she was horrible at being Dr. Light. I it was a great really scene, was. but she was bad. But I, that's a good actor. I am yeah. gonna actually jump to um, their defense on this a little bit because mm. remember Iris Iris has been burned in the fact by the fact that other people have taken the choice away from her before. You know, we, I, I kept that from mm. you to protect you. That was my choice. We've heard her say that several times in the show. So now, to me, it feels consistent to the character. Remember, this is now the Iris who's carrying a gun. Yeah. Mm. Right? This is a little bit of a different Iris. And I kind of buy into the fact that Iris would say, not push Linda into it, but to say, you know what, let Linda make that choice. We're talking about her, let's not make that choice for her. Let her make that choice. If she wants to take that risk, let her decide. Um, but that does lead me, speaking of Linda, to another uh, negative of mine. Um, dear heavens, we were joking about near the end of the episode when Linda turns to uh, Iris and says, you know, Man, it's so heavy keeping a secret like this. And I joke, don't worry about it. You're letting new people know every week. <laughs> I mean, that was kind of, I mean, they tried to cover it with that line. I'm asking you to trust me, so I'm going to trust you. It's like, no, no, different situations, yeah. Flash. <laughs> this is not the time to reveal yourself. Although I got to say, when he was kissing Peace Biv, all I could think of, man, I don't know. If I still got Linda over at my house, I think that's... Okay, their relationship wow. was <laughs> good. <laughs> so yeah. weird. Their relationship... Barry's and Linda's relationship was good. Yeah. It got soured because... It was going great. It got mm. soured because of her doubts about his feelings for Iris, mm. which were justified. Right. So I'm thinking, man, you're putting the Iris thing on hold in the back burner get back on that linda horse because that was going into town i mean that was a good relation i mean that in a relationship yeah, I sense. I know what you mean. I, I didn't mean like, that i just like that video <laughs> and uh no, but barry's, you're right, you know, barry's pimp barry pimped this whole episode oh like, yeah his oh. ex-girlfriend his girl that he's in love with and spivet like it's he's got all these things got a lot of women but all you know, dance around him you know uh the fact that i like you said iris was giving her the option to uh you know do this Dr. Light thing. But Barry, at, on the other hand, was kind of pushing her to become... Barry was. He was pushing yes, her. but that was because of his issues. Right, to the point where he had to reveal himself, which I... I, a little manipulative, yeah. you think? Maybe yeah. a little manipulative? Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, and, he's, 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 well, well, now we know why he's moody. He yeah. doesn't feel like he's ever going to be happy again. He bought what you're about on wearing Wells's face yeah. said about him you know as his kind of last message being like you're never going to be happy because he knows the future you so he's bought into that that's why he's so 
I don't know, on edge all the time. And then how ironic that he thinks, no, I can be happy. I'm going to go mm -hmm. make out peace biv at the cop station. <laughs> no. Oh, wait, Zoom is going to come and kick the shit out of me. Yeah. He's going to break Pizza's heart. Oh, we're, we got to talk about... For sure. I know he's going to rip out her heart. She's dying. I'm telling you, she's dying. Yeah. Yeah. Peace biv is dying. What come on. Want to talk I was going to say, we, we have to mention, I'm sure the fans want to know yeah. what we thought about... Uh, uh, Jesse Quick. Yeah, Jesse Quick. Yeah. Oh, Jesse yes. Wells, yeah. I guess. Or Jesse, or Jesse, yeah, Wells. Jesse Wells. Yeah, oh, it could yeah. be Jesse Chambers. I don't know, because he never says her last name. No one says her last name, so who knows? Yeah, who knows mom yeah, she's yeah. basically just another future. Com could be another comic book character. Yeah. Could be another yeah. speedster. It's definitely just her too. Yeah, or just an Easter egg as a, as a wink to the right, fans, exactly, and a nod right. to the fans. Because yeah. we've seen we've seen Arrow and Flash do that before, oh, where really? they bring up yeah. a reference that references something in the comic book, it, right. but it's never actually utilized. Right. It's just kind of a tip of the hat of the showrunners. But yeah. uh, it's cool. It, 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 this could be one of those situations where they do fall through with it, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think we'll see a Robert Queen? Show up like? Do you think it'll? Yeah, be that was cool. That story, Amel? the new oh, story. Oh yeah, from God, story. Do you yeah. think it'll be Amel? And the, but the, do, they're about to be his dad right. from it, Earth One. I think I honestly I remember that went through my head. I'm so glad you brought that up. Yeah. I think we're gonna see a Robert Queen Green Arrow absolutely come in at some. I think you're gonna see um, Barry get Oliver. I mean, mm -hmm. clearly, this is one of the situations where when it came down to Reverse Flash, he went and got Oliver. In yeah. this situation, he's gonna go get Oliver. Mm -hmm. So Oliver is gonna play a role in this. And I'm starting to get a little bit excited that maybe we're going to see a Robert Queen Green Arrow oh, yeah, also sees his coming dad. to hell. Yeah. He, yeah. yeah. I think in, that could be cool. in the Flashpoint comics, remember Thomas I Wayne was just going to bring that up. Yeah. So I mean, basically, we're, Arrow's Batman. We're so. coming close to Flashpoint. Thomas yeah. Wayne can make an appearance at this point off Earth too, which would that, be insane. I, I, I don't, I, I'd love to see a Wayne. I don't think we're ever going to see. Have we we're talked enough about Grodd though? <laughs> next week, I feel like we, okay, no, next it's week. next week's episode. But yeah. I got so like in episode one in the season premiere this year, just when Joe goes. What kind of big hands? Don't worry. Well, Grodd. I was like, oh, excited even that they mentioned Grodd. And it's Can like, you wear a gorilla suit next week, please? I will wear a gorilla suit next week. Yeah, yes. I, I will not. Awesome. But like, how sick would it be if for some reason, like, which one, which one of the characters Grodd mentions there was somebody that he liked that was nice to him that brought, remember that? In that one thing oh, with, with the general, but there yeah. was somebody who was kind to him. Was it um, uh, 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 the, the, the scientist girl? Um, Oh, uh, Caitlin Snow? It was, was it not I Caitlin? I think it was Caitlin. I think it was You're Caitlin right. that he actually like, what, what if, what if <laughs> Caitlin <laughs> is able to talk Grodd into helping Barry fight Zoom? Yeah. Right. Mind blown. Yeah. That's like King Kong 2.0. And then <laughs> King Shark. King Shark. You know, I think King Who's Shark's still dead. No, I think he's dead. dead yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is a good thing. Nobody died this episode, right? Uh, this is the first episode nobody's died. Yeah, that no? preview for next week's a little bit of a spoiler. Yeah, just Barry's pride. Well, Barry's, right. because Barry's like, I can't bit. feel my legs. Because that newspaper editor that. died last episode. So yeah, one yeah. person yeah. has died per episode. This is the first time no one's yeah. died this season, I think. No, there, 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 there's died. no flash po post-mortem now. Well, sadly, right. we probably forget about it because Zoom was so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he I grabbed the lightning too? bolt. Oh, my God. He grabbed the lightning bolt. He got a lightning bolt. He did a little flip, too. Which all of us were, oh! The whole room had nerd guys. Yeah, never mind yeah. that, <laughs> that that is scientifically impossible. You cannot catch a lightning bolt. But this is Zoom. And you know what? I, I, we've always liked the design of mm -hmm. Zoom, but the more closer, the more intimate we're getting with it, the the look of Zoom is right out of a nightmare. It yeah. is complete. And perfect voice casting with Tony Todd to do the voice of Zoom. I mean, I don't know how you could have made that more terrifying. Uh, such a great job on that. All right. Well, folks, we want to now listen to you and hear what you want to bring up by going to our Twitter questions. Right now, again, to remind you, you can send us Twitter questions by sending out a tweet and using the hashtag Collider Flash. So let's go to the first Twitter question. And the first Twitter question today comes to us from Samuel Huria, who writes, who do you think Zoom is? Also, I don't have a good feeling about Patty, to be honest. I feel like she might betray Barry. Thoughts? Um, I, I initially, when this season began, I thought Zoom is going to be Barry of Earth 2. Mm -hmm. Totally different body structure. Mm -hmm. I am now totally bought in to the theory that was going around on Twitter that it's Barry's dad from Earth 1. I think Ugh. because somebody started tweeting out these pictures of the close-up shot that we had of Zoom's eyes, and then a close-up shot of uh, John uh, Ship. Uh, what's his first name? Yeah, John Wesley Ship. John Wesley Ship yeah. of his eyes, and I'm like, yeah, the, those the, uh, those look like the same eyes yeah. to me. Mm. I think, and so, remember we talked a lot about when Barry's dad got out of jail, and then he just split. We're like, yeah. well, just, thanks, Dad. Yeah. I think maybe that'll play. I, I don't think it's Earth 
one Barry's dad, but mm. I'm start. I believe now that it's Earth uh, two. And what was the second part of the question? Go, yeah, not trusting um, her. I wouldn't trust Patty to stay alive. <laughs> I wouldn't trust that. That that she will she will violate your trust on that. Stop but it. no, betray Barry. <laughs> no way. The only way she betrays Barry if it's by she gets tricked mm. or something. Mm. There's no way this Patty character intentionally betrays Flash, not a chance. Mm. What do you think, Wiroka? Uh, okay, first, I agree with you. I think it is uh, Barry's dad from Earth 2. It's fascinating because they had made a little allusion to the comics when they were chasing each other around and Barry says to him, who, you, who are you trying to, you trying to be me? Do you want to be me? Because that's the origin of Zoom's character in the comics. Is Zoom wanted to be Barry, he was a fanboy mm. and he became this and he got angry because Barry wouldn't give him, or the Flash wouldn't give him the time of day, and that's why he became a villain. So they Sounds make it like a, the Incredibles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very yeah. similar to that. Um, but and so, it, uh, but I, I agree with you. I think it's his dad. I think it would be awesome when, if when that happens, because that's a perfect reason for why John Wesley ship disappeared. And I think it is kind of maybe slightly possible that Patty might turn on him because really? because the yeah. actress Chantel Van, she has a really cool face to go evil to I like the wrestling term cool to go face to go, or to or go, go heel. heel. And I think she could easily go mm. heel. And she showed up at the beginning of the episode out of nowhere. So she could have been a long, a long con by Zoom to be in there from the beginning to kind of get information, figure out Barry's world, and then turn on Barry near the end and be herself some villain. Hmm. So who knows? I don't know. I Poor think, Barry. I, I think Peace Bibby's Zoom. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Peace Bibby's <laughs> totally Zoom. Kidding. Oh my God, they're I never the same no place. I have no idea who <laughs> Zoom is, and I like the theory that it might be Barry's dad. Yeah. That I don't think that Patty is going to betray Barry. I think if anything, she would sacrifice her life for him. If anything, everybody's putting Patty in the grave. She's gone. She's, she's, she's completely oh, look, smitten. The only she's way gone. she betrays him is she says, "I promise you, I will not die <laughs> dead." That's it. That's the only betrayal. What do you think? I don't get why Earth Two. Uh, Barry's dad want to kill his own son. I don't really even it's if it's not an, really his son. I know, but I don't under. I okay. So my thinking is for this is I. I he said like uh, was the one part in the episode where he said um, he used to be human or somebody said what was that a man or a human or something he's like he used to be. I think Well says alludes to something like mm -hmm. he used to be. Something happened to him. He transformed somehow. Right. I just don't think we're gonna be able to see it coming. I think all these theories were putting out there good, but I don't think we're going to see it. I think it's going to be somebody we just don't expect. I don't know who. I don't have an idea of who, but I don't think we're going to see it coming. Joe? Can, Joe? Can, Joe? Earth, yeah, maybe. Can we throw something Joe. out there to you, David? Like, we've yeah. been talking about how in the whole season it's been like, you have to kill your doppelganger in the other world for right. your to live. So maybe he has to kill Flash in this world to save his own Flash son, mm -hmm. or his son, actually, in hmm. Earth 2. Or what if, it could in, be what something if in like Earth, that. what if in Earth 2... What if that night that Barry's mom's mom's di uh, mom dies? Remember, yeah. the Flash shows up and saves himself as a little kid. What if in that Earth, what if Barry dies in that attack? And now mm. you got older, you got Doctor yeah. uh, Allen, who is angry, bitter, vengeful, mm. whatever. Yeah. And who would what would he be most angry about? Maybe mm. that thing that looks like his son in the other world. Yeah. I, I I don't know. I might be stretching. Well, here no, a don't bit forget now. that in that. Scene, there's another Barry there who says, Don't save yeah, your yeah. mom. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. Self explain right. that. Yeah. So, are we going to see that this season, maybe? Yeah. And the of course, Barry, yeah. uh, Peace Pivot. I think Peace Pivot's just cute. I, I think she's, I think she's, <laughs> oh she's, she's, I think she's 100% honest. Panel. She is transparent. She is everything that she says that she is. Peace Pivot could be the greatest woman of all time. <laughs> I'm going to be a list of a hot man on the flash for, for ladies out there later. It's not a coincidence, but before we started rolling, people at this table were talking about how do single geeks find something <laughs> decent to go on a... I think that was a sales pitch right there. So <laughs> Peace Pivot is watching. <laughs> all right, let's get it. I think we got one more uh, Twitter question. And this one comes to us from Zoom is King. Uh, since Barry is so outclassed, do you think he may enlist the help of the rogues next time he takes on Zoom? Awesome question, because I, obviously we have not. Now, uh, the last time we checked, Captain Cold's in prison, mm. but we know prisons cannot hold him, mm -hmm. so that ain't going to be for long. I, I don't know about weather, uh, Weathermaster yeah. or uh, stuff like that, or, you know, I was taking a wild stab in the dark with Grodd or, or things, but he's going to need help. Yeah. And I do think we are not done with Captain Cold. I think there's a there's bigger role to play there. Um, but I mean, he's going to have to get Oliver. There's there's no I have no doubt about that. This is going to be one of those times when Oliver calls him Barry or Barry calls him Oliver. This is one of those situations. But the way the ass kicking 
Yeah. <laughs> the thoroughness yeah. of that mm -hmm. ass kicking. It's going to take something bigger than just flashing his rogues. I mean, I don't know what the next step is. I mean, clearly Jay is going to have to come back in the picture, yeah. uh, get his speed back, and he's going to... Something big is going to have to happen on Barry's goods on Barry's behalf to become an issue here because that was such a thorough smackdown laying yeah. that it's it, it, I can't I got to imagine that just Oliver coming and Captain Cold coming ain't gonna do squat uh it's gonna need more than that I I feel like what do you think I think uh John you were talking earlier about the the photo that was released today the new uh, the crossover oh yeah, yeah. with Hawkman with Hawkman Hawk Girl. Hawk Girl. now I don't usually the crossover take place maybe mid to after mid of the season not usually the finale but I think maybe we might see all those people come together at some point to help. I mean, help out. Just like we saw, you know, uh, Oliver help out Barry last year against Reverse Flash for mm -hmm. a little while. And also Firestorm came down to help out. We haven't seen Firestorm in a while. I mean, yeah. no, they're off in Pittsburgh yeah. doing their thing. But I think the whole team is going to show up. I think they are forming their own little Justice League at the CW right now. I think we're going nice. to see everybody team up. And it's going to happen. It's going to be good. It's going to be big. Idea. It's going to be exciting to see that. Yeah. I think, Roga. Uh, yes, I think the Rogues are actually going to actually going to come into play at some point in this situation. Because they seem to have really just, cr like, doubled down on Zoom to be such a badass. Like you were saying, he kicked so much ass. It was like Mr. T, Rocky Three in the first fight kind of kicking ass. Like, there was nothing left of Barry when it was done. And the fact hey, that woman. he... Yeah. Hey, Juan. <laughs> yeah. The fact that he he almost killed him, he dragged him around within like two minutes yeah. was amazing. And so you're just like, you're just like, dude, everything he learned was almost irrelevant. He's so much more powerful. Cisco shooting him was a nice little twist. You didn't expect that. So it's like, okay, where do we go from here? He can be captured. He can be caught. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be a matter of like, who are they going to bring in? Because if he's fast, the fastest man alive, what are arrows going to do? What is anything going to do if he can outrun everything? So it has to be something that makes sense. And I think putting all those rogues together because they're evil and they're villains, mm -hmm. w they, they would come up with something, you know? Yeah, I, that. I think the rogues uh, idea is a really good <laughs> idea and it's a valid point. And I think that they should get together because yeah. we would love to see them all together and fighting Zoom. And for me, Arrow and Flash combined, there's no creepier scarier villain than what i just witnessed in the last <laughs> 10 minutes of the flash yeah. he he i was really scared i thought barry was gonna die i was like crap what is gonna happen but yes i think take, up to take him to the lazarus pit too <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's what i'm good. worried about i don't you know? we had you know rachel ghoul last season in arrow came around beat oliver without even a sword yeah he said i'm gonna i'm, I'm, I'm gonna take your sword from you after you're done you know using it so and then at the end of the season, Oliver beats him pretty easily. It seems like, and yeah. they have a little hand in it and a little fight. You know, the swords. It seems like he beats him pretty easily. I hope Zoom doesn't go down like that. Right. This guy's the man. I mean, I, if he goes down at the end of the season, it better be one hell of a fight. Yeah, it yeah. better not just be Zoom and Barry fight again. He's got him knocked down, and Wells just goes, "Get up, kid! I believe in you." Yeah. <laughs> he gets up with the eye of the tiger and takes out Zoom. Does Mr. Miyagi like? <laughs> yeah, <sir. laughs> I, I hope I hope they don't. I hope they don't go that cheesy. Uh, all right, any closing thoughts before we wrap this thing up? Uh, oh, oh, there's oh, another oh, question. Oh, oh, I thought we, that was three already. Let's do one more. Uh, Chris Skalicki writes, has Barry embraced letting people he's close to in on his secret as the best way to protect them? How long till Patty finds out? Patty will find out when she's dying. Oh. Oh my, oh, God. oh my gosh! But no, I do not Hashtag believe. Hashtag Patty lives. <laughs> I do not believe that Barry is letting people know as a way to protect them. I think he often lets people way uh, people know as a last resort uh, because it's a, uh, a thing of necessity. They have to know. With and that's why I wasn't so thrilled with the way he told Linda. I, it was a little manipulative. It, it seemed rather light and fluffy the way they did it. To be mm -hmm. honest, so I don't think he's telling people as a way of protecting them. That's just the way I see. I, what I, th I think that he's telling people just so they can trust him and say, "All right, well, if you're telling me who you are, then I'm going to be Doctor Light." You know, I think mm -hmm. that's just really what it is for him to gain their trust really quick, and it's manipulative too as well. It's an interesting device because we come from a place, for those of us who've grown up with the comics, it's like you hide your identity as by any means necessary at any cost. And it seems to be in these shows that they seem to kind of talk about or relieve, reveal their identities so quickly yeah. to different people. Mm -hmm. And so it's I think it's a dangerous way of going forward with Barry because he's going to reveal it to the wrong person at the wrong time but and stuff could happen. But we'll go, yeah. I was going to say, like, yeah, he, they reveal way too much. Oliver, pretty much everyone know, yeah, knew except everyone, for Officer yeah. Lance for a while. That 
that was a big problem you know, with Arrow. It was like yeah. it was like the Oprah Winfrey show. You get my identity, and you get my identity. <laughs> he was saying. like, it felt like he was giving out his like secret identity to everybody That's all over the place. About. But yeah. at the same time, the more he, the more people he tells, the more of a unit and group he has of supporting people that are there to have his back. Right. So I can see what they're trying to do here. Right. No, no, I get it. It's just that I think I think it's gonna. I think if they're doing this correctly, he'll reveal it to the wrong person at the wrong time, and yeah. it'll be a good story. Because all the theories are coming about, you know, yeah. is Peace Pivot, is she, yeah. she going to turn on him? Because that could be the wrong person at the wrong time. Right. And you know, here's the thing. Like, there was a moment when, I think we all remember this, when Barry first revealed who he was to Iris. And right. we were like, whoa! When he first reveals who he is to Joe. We were, whoa! The one with Linda... Because Linda hasn't even been around mm, yeah. forever. Mm. She just kind of popped up and is hardly even, they hardly interact like they were dating for a while. Mm -hmm. And so they he's sitting in the house and he takes his mask off and they play that dramatic music, but there was no, oh, there was none of that. There was no well, feeling of that. It was with, so empty. Especially with her line that, oh my gosh, I made out with the flag. Yeah. Like, oh, that's the one thing you're gonna say right now. Yeah. All right, folks, that will do it for us for this installment of the Flash Recap Show. Listen, make sure if you want to tweet into us, tweet out anytime. Just make sure you include the hashtag in your tweet, Collider Flash. We check and look at it through the week as well, and we love it when you guys communicate with us. Don't forget, take hey, if you're a fan of this show, take this video from YouTube, put it on your Facebook page, send it out on Twitter, spread the word around, and let other Flash fans know that we are here every Tuesday talking up about the Flash. I want to thank the people sitting at the table with me, sitting over here. David, David, where can people find you online? You find me on Twitter, at GriffinDE, as well as tomorrow on uh, Star Wars Rebels After Show with John Campion. That reminds me, I gotta watch Rebels tonight. Yeah. I have not watched the episode yet. Have you watched tomorrow's episode yet? I have not. I know Hera, I, it's all about Hera though. I know, I'm looking forward yeah. to that one. <laughs> Sitting over here, Roka, where can people find you? Everybody, uh, at the Roka Says on Twitter and Instagram, and also Sunday nights here on the Collider Network, being one of the hosts with Tari. Kauri, Tari. Ah, Tari. Kauri, sorry, Kauri. Uh, uh, for the Walking Dead recap show. There we go. And sitting over on the end. <laughs> hey, it's Taori over here, but you can find me at K-A-O-R-I-O-U-S on Twitter, as well as Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. Thanks for joining us. And of course, you can follow me on Facebook and on Twitter, simply at John Campia. That'll do for us, guys. We'll be back again next week. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.